Once the preserve of superpowers locked in a game of Cold War one-upmanship, space is becoming increasingly democratic, and British companies are playing a bigger part than ever before. This is Gaia, recently launched by the European Space Agency to map one billion stars in the Milky Way like never before, and there's British ingenuity at its core. It's very precise engineering. It's a highly skilled work to make these kind of devices. And it's not something that, you know, can be mass produced. So it takes time and effort. And I think that's something that um, British industry has been very, very good at. It's proving to be big business for the UK and ambitions are on a suitably huge scale. We've experienced a decade of growth of around about 7-8%. And I think this has raised all of our ambitions, both in industry and in government, and we think we can do a lot better still. So, yeah, we've got great ambitions to grow to 40 billion uh, by 2030. As space has become more accessible, our demand for what it can offer us has increased. What once was revolutionary is now routine. Now, what's driving this space race isn't just the thirst for scientific knowledge, the exploration of space, but also more mundane, down-to-earth things. Satellite television, satellite navigation, and something many of us carry around every day, the smartphone. The government, too, is matching the industry's ambitions and wants to see it triple in size. Already 30,000 people work in this industry in Britain. We want it to be 100,000 over the next couple of decades. That means taking part in the big international programs, because obviously space programs are hugely expensive and one country can't do it by themselves. It also makes sure that Britain is at the forefront of advanced manufacturing and technology and science. To do that, space, intrinsically futuristic, needs the next generation of bright young minds to thrust it forward. I get to come down and look into the clean room windows and go, I made that bit and that's going into space, and oh, I did that bit and that's going into space. So I just love that, that's fantastic. I get to actually work with devices that will physically be launched up on a rocket and go into space and be used to take pictures of the things that I studied while I was at uni. So it's pretty, pretty close up to, to the kind of things that I was interested in um, all through my studies. And it will be up to them to boldly go where no man has gone before to achieve a British space industry worth astronomical money tens of billions while challenging and competing on a global scale. John Maguire, BBC News.